Right, so it's, um, what day is it? April 4th, officially with Marathon de Sable UK, the one where you fly in from London, starts on April 5th, it's about 10pm, we are flying at 7am to Morocco tomorrow morning, to a place called Wazarate, where despite us only packing shorts and t-shirt, apparently it's snowing, so that's great. Uh, also, I have a pre-stress fracture on my foot, happened two weeks ago. So I haven't trained for two weeks and my foot is just aching right now because I've been too scared to try to see if it works. So day one of the Marathon de Saba is going to be me retesting it. I was kind of hoping to finish top 100. That's not going to happen now. Now I'm just hoping to finish it and that my injury doesn't flare up. So let's see. In standard Johnny Ward practice as well, I've been obviously traveling. We ran a project where we built a school in Nepal with my Give Back Giveaway Foundation. Anyway, and then I was in Thailand and Cambodia and, and the Burma border and all this. So I got my stuff delivered to my sister's house in London, where I am now. And uh, I just got access to my gear for the first time today, really. And it starts tomorrow, so I haven't tried it on or anything. So again, a little bit last minute. But you got to do what you got to do. So let's have a look at the gear. This is my mate Anthony's gear. And this is my gear. So you can kind of see that like seven days, it's kind of six days and then one last day of getting back and all. So the seven days, you have to have 2,000 calories per day. So 14,000 calories. I've got about two and a half thousand or so. So I've got 17,000 or 18,000 calories. Uh, ordered all my stuff online from my race kit, which kind of organizes it all for you. It's a lot easier when you're an idiot like me. Um, and then you can see it's a, a, a mattress to sleep on every night because you sleep in the desert under a tent. Uh, a thin sleeping bag, which I hope will be warm enough. Let's see. A thin jacket, pair of flip-flops, a spare pair of shorts, a spare t-shirt, and then just a load of compulsory stuff that they have um, for the anti-venom kit for the uh, scorpions and compasses and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to pack it into my bag. My bag I also got online from my race kit. But basically I need to carry all my stuff, my food, my sleeping stuff for the whole week in one 25 liter bag under 10 kilos. And it's a bit touch and go. So I'm gonna pack and we'll see you guys in the morning. We're in the airport, caught up with Eamon. I used to train with in Bangkok. Bring it on. Uh, getting all a bit real now. Seeing all the other people who are going to be miles ahead of me on the race. We made it to Morocco. We're in Uzarate. This is Steve, the UK operator owner. And we got a six hour bus journey into the desert where shit's getting real. First dinner, just arrived at uh, the first camp. Mm, it's Friday night. Then registration and everything tomorrow. We don't start till Sunday, which means that we have a cheeky beer. So we just finished our first morning, first night. Um, we haven't run yet, but last night was freezing. Uh, and I'm already wearing more clothes I'm gonna have on the actual race, so I've got two jackets on. So tomorrow night, when it starts, I'm gonna be wearing sh just shorts and a jacket. It was about four or five degrees last night, so it's gonna be chilly. Let's see. All right guys, it's the last night before it all kicks off. We're in tent 53 on the stand of 52. 52. This is our tent, Eamon from Ireland. In there. Paul from Skysland, Anthony you guys probably know, Damien Lewis, the not rich one, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> true, <laughs> and Rocky, right, this will be the last happy faces you see for seven days, <laughs> this is it, ready to go, 30 minutes before the start and it's the first time I've put my bags on properly, which is great, and we're ready to go, feeling quite heavy actually.
That's our first half marathon finish, boys. Uh, we've got another 10, 15 kilometers to go today. We just threw our second checkpoint. We're actually starting to be in the sand now and it smashes your energy. Um, going quite well. Bag's heavy, but feel okay. Injured foot, swelling up a bit, but it's not too bad. See you guys at the finish line. Right, just finished day one. Uh, that was a the easy day, and it wasn't very easy. Um, my injured foot is a bit swollen. Sorry, I just put that on camera. Um, but it kind of went okay. Eamon stuck with me all day. The whole team's back. We're in luxury. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, it's not so hot today, um, which is a bit of a blessing. But tomorrow we're doing another thirty. 30 to 35k and it's all sand dunes so a bit of trepidation um yeah if this is an easy day it's gonna get a lot harder morning three or four actually but race day two a lot of tape going on people looking a little bit sore we're ready for it it's a sand dune day. Let's see how we get on. Did you forget your ethnicity? But looking back from now, they couldn't see what God had planned for me. Let me get it, let me put it down. One time for anybody out there following their dreams. Anybody in the city with a two job so they can get to make better things. You can see that I was at a put in every day and night. I don't think there's gonna be much running done on this sand. I'm about 10 kilometers in, 25 or so to go today. Sideways drive me crazy. You can't take my pride from me. I'm cool with the way God made me. Yeah, but the way you react, I can tell the hatred and tech. You call me dirty and educated. Yeah, yeah, good. How many bottles is it? How many? Two. Two. All right, thank you. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. I kept my soul no matter how hard they try to take it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. God had it not by my side. Ain't no way that you can. You can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. Right, you made it back to camp. That's about 70 kilometers or something done. Somewhere between a quarter and a third of the race complete. Um, thankfully, they have medical teams on uh, standby. You can see there. to sort out everything, blisters and aches and pains. So, I don't know if you can see on the video, but I'm limping like crazy because of my injury and then also blisters and also because I'm a massive softie who didn't train enough. So, let's go and see what they say. All right, here's the tent. And the boys, cooking dinner. Eamon and Polly. He's uh, at the medical tent seeing about his erectile dysfunction. It's the fourth night done, four nights to go. My feet are starting to fall apart. So you got to dress them every morning. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, so that's great. The boys are just woken up. You see the, the food situation, you throw a load of Rank, rank powdery stuff. Oh yeah, delicious. <laughs> so uh, we have about two hours to mend our broken bodies and then we hit the road again. It's 37k today. Hopefully it'll be a bit easier than yesterday. Those sand dunes were a bastard. Um, yeah, I'll, if I've got any energy I'll video during the race otherwise we'll see you tonight. Day three, let's do it. Hello, Anthony. 
feeling? I'm feeling uh, strong, but weak at the same time. <laughs> We're all bloodied and bruised, but this is day three. We're halfway after today. It's day three. Uh, about a quarter of the way through. Feet are killing my uh, injury in my right foot hurting quite a bit. I got injured by doing three days in a row of long distance training and this is the first time I've done three days in a row so I'm praying that it's gonna be okay tonight and this doesn't help. We can do it. Come on. So if you were following my Instagram or blog, whatever, over the last few months, you've seen me and Anthony training, running around the park in Bangkok seven million times. Heat training was great. Didn't put a bag on until three days ago. So if you're thinking about doing the MDS, wear a bag when you're training or don't bother training at all. That's the truth actually, isn't it? it is. So here we are, I'm going to be the walking wounded or a hobbling to the end of day three, it's only a couple of kilometers, so spirits are quite high actually. I had a real low moment about four hours ago. My blister on my foot's gonna explode, my stress fracture's flaring up, and I thought, I'm gonna go and find a rock and cry behind it. And then I saw Anthony, who was already crying behind a rock. <laughs> he was a broken man as well, saw him at the checkpoint. So then we just done the last two set sets over the last few hours together, and actually it's been great. So spirits are actually a lot higher than they were a few hours ago so yeah get back to the tent tonight we'll be the last two back but who cares um, get some dinner try to recover go to the doctor and then hit the 72k tomorrow after that we have a day off or a rest day and then it's one marathon which we can definitely get through so tomorrow really is make or break push this space day three done and dusted uh, that was a struggle. Tomorrow is the big day, the long day. Uh, just shy of two marathons. I've only ever done one marathon in my life, so to do two in one day is going to be interesting. Um, the team are all present. A little bit weary from the road and bleeding from the feet, but uh, we're all off to visit the doctor have an evening snack a quick nip of vino thanks to Chris the ex-marine bringing a bottle of wine along for the way thanks mate um, yeah it's legit tougher than I thought it was going to be but if we can get through tomorrow we're only one day away let's do it videos the last uh, two, 20, 20 kilometers I dropped my GoPro in the sand when I was walking with the Chris the marine guy and I thought it was long gone uh, and then I bumped into these two Egypts and a Frenchie and a in the 4x4 one of the tour operators someone had handed it in and it's back unless this is not my GoPro then there's gonna be a load of random footage before and then me taking over it see ya Pushing the halfway point, not quite there, so I hate to speak too soon, but you've got to ignore the ass shot of aiming here. Uh, but you can see the mountains ahead. It's a toasty one. Um, oh, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, so things are going okay, actually. It's been a actually kind of similar pace the last few days, maybe even a notch up. Um, Chatting with the boys, it's going easier. Uh, we're looking, we're hoping to be home in the night while it's still dark, as a minimum. It's a 32 hour cut off for today, so start at 
in the morning and you have to finish before uh, what 4 p.m. the following day but we're hoping to be back 12 hours at least before that but let's see we'll give it a shot the terrain's not too friendly so that's not gonna keep the pace going see you there <laughs> Just shy of 40k, still with the legends. Uh, we just knocked past the halfway point of the long day. Starts to feel like it might just be possible. Here's the checkpoint. It's a marathon done for the day. One more to go. There's some kind of storm coming. We're not sure if it's a sandstorm or maybe rain which would be a bit of a disaster actually well both would be a disaster but the rain means all our gear would get wrecked for trying to sleep when we get back at four in the morning anyway keep you posted it wasn't a, a rainstorm it was a sandstorm so not too bad we're through it now chris is still with us anthony's in the background Ian and the other irish guys pegged it on because he's a machine sun setting uh, things are painful but beautiful so we're approaching the fourth checkpoint of six check out the sunset here yeah so we're approaching the fourth checkpoint of six um, which is 51 kilometers and then we'll have 25 left of the long day rest day tomorrow I think we might actually do it um, we're catching people up now a little bit too because because of my injury I, I can't really run that much just the odd shuffle which means all my cardio training I haven't really been using it so now when people are starting to feel tired I feel quite good actually apart from the foot um, I hope they're all okay it gives me uh, finally some confidence to know that the end is nigh Alright, still 25k to go though, so let's not get too coggy. And me, we made it to 51k. I'm eating disgusting vegetarian pasta with <laughs> cold water because I can't be bothered to set up the fire to make it hot. Uh, 25k to go, it's dark. Um, things are going okay. Smashed another painkiller. Should be another five hours, maybe six at a push. So we're hoping to be back in the tent by 2 a.m. We're back in the desert and it's pitch black. And we've got a long way to go. It's pretty cool actually. Hobbling and limping and whatever, but morale's high because how often do you get to traverse the Sahara in the dark of night? The stars are beautiful. Let's just try to avoid these little scorpions and snakes. This is a uh, Checkpoint five, one left, 15 kilometers to go. Pitch black, kind of hard. It's gonna all be worth it. See you soon. We are 73 kilometers in. Five kilometers or so left. It has been a long day. It's uh, half past midnight. And we've probably got, what did I say, another four kilometers? I'm a bit delirious myself. And um, probably got well less than an hour I hope um, and then we'll be in bed no chance of me making a video when I get back I'm absolutely shattered hop open the sleeping bag hop into it and then get woken up by the burning sun around 7 a.m. probably thanks to the Sahara uh, you don't get great night sleeps in these shared tent things that you guys have been seeing on the stony floor but Tonight actually could be a different story because the body is just, just stopped off to go to the toilet there recently. I could have just fallen asleep on the sand dune for about 12 hours. So even this, uh, these shared tents are going to feel like a Ritz tonight. All right. Day five. Uh, we have a day off. God, do we ever need it? Uh, I'm sick. I'm in pain. Got one marathon left tomorrow. 
which we have a cut off time of 11 hours which might sound ridiculous to you guys for a marathon but even that time limit's going to be a challenge tomorrow hobbling along the line we'll think about that tomorrow though today we've just got to focus on eating keeping the spirits up and uh, trying to recover a bit medical 7am or something starting to heat up medical tent opens about an hour I'm going to go and get all my wounds seen to it's our rest day today and um, been a good day chilled actually feel kind of recovered my feet are still a bit cut up but I've got a load of those painkillers so last 42k tomorrow for us and the team I think we might actually pull it off all of us which will be wonderful and then straight to the pub um, what an epic experience sun's about to set so I'm gonna get an early night we're starting the, the desert marathon tomorrow at 7 p.m. it'll take us through the 200 kilometer mark and beyond to 225 or 230 or whatever the final total is just shy of the six marathons and then a little charity 7k the following day to top it up that's it you can see the tents here this is how we sleep uh, eight people in each tent the local um, Moroccan guys set the tent up every night thank thankfully because that's beyond my pay grade um, and then we just sleep on the floor with the sleeping bags and an inflatable pillow uh, it gets a bit chilly at night but you're normally so shattered from the run that it's kind of okay uh, you can probably see my mood is a bit better today eating good food and stretching so um, yeah feeling upbeat I'm sure I won't feel upbeat 25 kilometers into this marathon tomorrow but you gotta take it when you get it okay see you during the marathon Day six, last day, last marathon. Let's do it. I'm gonna test this fractured foot. Run a little bit more today. Check out what we got to climb over next. Straight up and over that sand dune in the mountain. Long slog. It's a little bit worrying. This is why we have the venom pump. That's it. 220, 230. 240k, whatever it is, it's all over. Me and Anthony stuck in it together the last three legs. Massive help to do your best mates. Highly recommend it. Here's the finish and the medal. Come on, I hope. I am shattered in the last 100 meters. Let's go down so we can cross together, bro. Ready? Yeah. The last legs of battery. GoPro's dummy proud. We finished the whole tent. The walk walking wounded here, Ansar and Polly are falling apart. Even us, uh, we're not in the best, best of sit. Yeah, sure. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got that. Yeah, correct. Um, we got a six or seven k charity walk this morning, and then finally back to the hotel. Uh, I'll give a full debrief about the thoughts and emotions. Maybe when I get back to either hotel tonight or London in a few days or Bangkok a few days after that. But it's been amazing, all in all. Uh, happy it's over. Worth the time and the effort and the money. It, and it took a lot of all of those. But we're here, you make some friends for life. That's really cool thing about it. And I just can't believe how many legends do this thing. People like the kind of people who sign up for Marathon de Sable, like you're the you're the person who in your social group you feel you can dig deepest and do the coolest stuff. And then suddenly you come to a place like this and every single person's like that. Um yeah, I met some real legends. So anyway, like I say, I'll give a proper emotional debrief when I've got some time and I'm showered and don't look like a ginger grey old man. Uh Right, 
finished this charity walk and got some cool beers waiting at the other end, I hope. Peace! We are in 30 Boons Road. The trip, the marathon is over. I've come to visit a special uh, little magic princess um, who's got no front teeth. Uh, and tomorrow I will fly back to Thailand. Are you coming to Thailand, Romilly Gray? No. I mean, yes. Show your teeth. Give a big smile. <laughs> and say, hello, how old are you? Six. W when's your birthday? November the 28th. And which country do you live in? London. England. How many countries in the world are there? 197. What's the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest. Wow. Which country is it in? Mm. Yes. Yes, yes. No. Yeah! Okay, and what's your favourite country? France. France. Okay, there you go. We will say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Okay, take it easy. Bye bye. Hey, you uh, left your GoPro. Sorry about that. But we'll uh, sort it out and get it to you. Safe travels. Bye, Case. What's this? That's just, I'm trying to throw it in